Hello, this is Steve, Dichroic Glassman. In the previous videos I showed this Dichroic Hummingbird that I just made utilizing a GST bevel cluster. This is a brand new one in the box. I haven't turned it into Dichro yet. And with this 19, the GST 19 Hummingbird, as you can see the paper here, I've turned the clear bevel into this. Now, the next process is, I told you in one of the previous videos that I have lots of bevels that, one for one reason or another, I kept them. I didn't utilize this particular part, in other words, and I saved them up because they're cool shape. And here's another one. I don't know where these came from. Somebody might recognize them. Turn it this way. I don't know where it came from, but apparently I've accumulated a few of them, and it looked like a spectacular piece. Well, I chose those two to turn them into Dichro. Look at that. That is stunning. See my fingers through it? That's cyan red. That's going to be stunning with some sort of a, another application, maybe something coming out. Maybe a jewel at the top, maybe just all kinds of different shape possibilities to utilize. And here's that other shape. Now, isn't that awesome? Look at that. That is so spectacular. Those colors. Yep. I love dichroic glass. It's just so incredible. So, anyway. Just showing off a couple more possibilities. Anything's possible with dichroic to a point, but I'm just giving you some ideas that this is not just limited to the few stock bevels that are out there that are currently being offered as dichroic options. Especially when you realize this is my dramatization, by the way. Especially when you see that the bevels out there are only being coated in the center. See that flat spot right there? That's called a table. And when you look on the internet for the dichroic bevels that are available today, you're going to see that, in this case, only one-ninth of the whole bevel is coated. And it's coated on the top, which to me seems self-defeating. But anyway, you're paying roughly a dollar, any, anywhere from 85 cents to a dollar fifteen to coat that little square. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're only getting one-ninth of the bevel coated. Do the math. If you took that dollar, what you're paying a dollar for, times nine, this bevel at that rate would be nine dollars plus the price of the bevel. Sixty-five, seventy cents. Nine dollars and seventy cents. No wonder you're not seeing dichroic bevels on the internet. They're too expensive. Or, some of the other possibilities would arise, which you're going to see me explain the possibilities in my next video. The reality of are dichroic bevels even feasible? Yeah, I know. I've crossed this line years ago. I've been using dichroic bevels in my creations now for over 12 years. Check out my website, by the way, dichroicglassman.com, and you'll see some more examples. And pretty soon, I'm getting ready to release the new bevels that I've been doing. I've got trays of them, faceted jewels, bevels in all kinds of shapes and forms. And you're going to see some really cool possibilities. This is just an unrelated thing, but I've even done dichroic lamps. <laughs> you might have seen this pattern in the uh, elegant books. And this is dichroic. It's purple. It was stunning. It was beautiful. I don't know what color Baroque I used in here. This was a Spectrum 891 Champagne, 891-61 I believe Champagne. This was really a pretty lamp. I do decorative solder beads on there, little thousands of little beads. It's really a pretty lamp. This is the large one, as you can see, the five. One, two, three, four, five. That would be a one inch by five inch bevel, normally. Four, a three, a two, and a one. I've done dichroic kaleidoscopes, where the whole body was dichroic. I've done dichroic airplanes. Well, you know the aeroscope kaleidoscopes that are available as a kit by Clarity. I've done the whole airplane in dichroic. <laughs> I love dichroic glass, can you tell? Duh. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos. Remember, 
look check out the bevels just type in Google dichroic glass bevels you'd be amazed you start doing the uh, the math just figure that out you'll be amazed at uh, what those bevels are costing in the long run thanks for watching my videos as always very grateful for all the nice comments and compliments look forward to uh, doing the next video bye bye